So last game we're going to really fully dive into is the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Chargers 31-17. to Tidy, I'm going to bring it to you first. What were your thoughts? Are the Chiefs back? I mean, um, Pat, Miko's back. Patty threw for four on it. Four touchdowns. Classic Pat. Um, you know, late game window. It's kind of a primetime game. After all the 10 o'clock games, you know, Chiefs are on. Uh, I thought Herbert played pretty well. I, I just thought the play calling was really bad. I don't think Brand Staley is any good. Um, the Chargers have – I feel like their t- their roster is really good. Like, you look at their defensive roster, Derwin James, you know, Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack. Um, They're just not, not getting it done. I think Asante Samuel Jr. is pretty good. I just don't know why it's not working at all. Like, you have the quarterback. I feel like Herbert's pretty good. Um, Austin Eckler's kind of been in and out of injury, so, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. But, I mean, Kelly, the the, the backup running back, Kelly had like a 60-yard run. So, I mean, he's really good. So, um, they got Keenan Allen. Uh, Palmer's been making plays. Everett's making plays. Um, you'd like to see a little bit more from the rookie in uh, Quentin Johnson, Johnson. But, I mean, I, their roster's not bad. I don't know why they're not you know, able to win any of these games or two and four right now. It's just like, what do you, it's, it's really tough to say on why this team isn't doing good. And I feel like it all starts with the head coach. Um, Chargers are two and four. I feel like they should be a lot better. I feel like a bunch of people had them in that wild card position um, because I think Justin Herbert's just really talented. I feel like most of us can agree on that. Justin Herbert's really good at football. So um Pretty much whenever these two usually go at it, the Chargers usually – they'll be in the game close, but then, you know, Patty and the guys pretty much find a way to win. I mean, I'll say, this about, I'll say this about Patrick Mahomes. Um, on third down, I think he's like the best quarterback statistically when it's like third and long because um, he usually uses his legs to extend drives if there's nothing there pretty much. They had like a third and 21, and, <laughs> and – uh, every they pretty much I think it was like third and fifteen. They just had all of their DBs like at the first down marker, and pretty much what he did was um, he just dropped back and ran for the first down. I think he had someone someone like block for him for the first down. I was just like, bro, like yeah, how do you stop that? Uh, it's just you know when Patty and you know Kelsey had like one fifty at halftime. Like, <laughs> what are we talking about? Taylor Swift is. Throwing fucking handshakes with Patrick Mahomes' wife, and you know, Chess the bride they ask can't get. They lived for shit like that. They couldn't wait for her to do some shit like that. And I feel like the, the shit looks genuine. Like she actually looks like she's enjoying herself at these games. So, um, I don't know, man. Uh, it's just Chiefs are rolling, man. And when the Chiefs start rolling, things get scary in the AFC. Like it's just like, all right, damn, we got to go to fucking Arrowhead in the playoffs. Again, <laughs> Again. Arrowhead Invitational. So. Man, no more Burrowhead, huh? I guess we're going to leave that in the past. We'll, we'll see. One time ever. We'll see. So we have some comments. So, Tidy, I'm going to bring it to you first. Uncle Manny says, what do you think the Chargers' problem is? So, Tidy, I'm going to bring it to you first. What are the Sandy – or not Sandy Diego Chargers. What are the Chargers' problems? I might as well go back. Yeah, and, um, coaching. <laughs> I feel like Brandon Staley is just – I don't think he's that good. Um, I think a lot of people could say that. I, like, if you, like, I named all the guys on the roster. Like, their roster is good. Like, if you were to play on Madden, I know Kevin plays Madden a lot, you would pick the Chargers because, like, no, you got a bunch of all these dudes over there. And like, the offense, too. So, I mean, it's just like, why is this not working? This is, it's it just, there's no reason why this shouldn't work. And, you know, you're starting to see a little bit of years. You know, Herbert just signed his contract. You know, this is not the first rodeo. So it's just like when you got, you know, guys like Keenan Allen on your team, Austin Eckler on your team, Herbert at quarterback, like you should be winning games. And um, they weren't winning games with Anthony Lynn. They fired Anthony Lynn and they brought in Brandon Stanley so they could win the games. But nothing changed. They're still losing. They're two and four right now. And I, it's frustrating for Chargers fans because, you know, I don't want to bet them because I'm like, I don't trust them <laughs> because they lose these weird games, these, you know, primetime games that they're in. And even in the close game that they're supposed to be in, they'll make it really close to where it's like a one score game and it, and it comes down to like the final drive. So, yeah, I think it's coaching. And um, do they just promote Kellen Moore to the, to the head coaching job? I'm not so Got sure to. about that. Or you go and find a guy. 
I feel like this would have been the perfect team that Sean Payton could have went to if he would have just waited a year. But you know, the whole money uh, talks situation. Yeah, you know, they showed him the bag. You said you wanted to go there. I think they they showed him the bag, and it was you know. So he went to the nice stuff with Russell Wilson. <laughs> so Gary, what are your thoughts on the Chiefs defeating the Chargers thirty-one seventeen? It's becoming a regular thing, y'all. Y'all just sleeping on the avail- what is it called availability, whatever. The basic, the future talent. I'm telling you guys, the K- this is the Super Bowl champion sitting in front of your face right here. They're five and one. They lost again to Detroit Lions team that just got slaughtered this weekend by Lamar Jackson, and they lost by that point by one point. And they didn't have their best defensive guy nor the best receiver. So you take that what you want to make with that. And uh, the Dynasty doing regular stuff, man. It's trying to get to the point where it's just being regular. And Patrick Mahomes is not really in the MVP conversation in terms of people mention his name, but he should be obviously mentioned in it because of winning because of him. We've already talked about how they were trying to, you know, create a problem with them saying basically there's no wide receivers on this team. There's no wide receivers. But Patrick Mahomes is pulling the Brady. He'll make anyone look good and just throw anyone to me. And I got you. I'll make them look good as long as you get my tight end. Like, you know, used to have Gronk back in the day at certain sets. You know, Edelman, you know, he's not a tight end. But if you just give me one of my guys that I trust that's, you know, not overly, like, talented or great, you know, like they used to have Tyree Kill, that type of caliber, just give him all reliable. And the Travis Kelsey, like y'all mentioned, he's going to go crazy. He's going even more crazier since I know the stats are coming out, since Taylor Swift has been dating. Whatever you want to say, man, that's just all entertainment. You know, it only becomes a negative when it's affecting the field, and it's just been nothing but positive for these guys, really. So it just, you know, the thing about them is are you, they're going to be able to keep hungry because, remember, they're champions. the champions. They won last year. Are you going to be able to keep hungry – to, towards the end of the season, the one good thing about them is they've tasted that loss. Winning a championship, going up, you know, versus the Buccaneers, thinking it's all gravy, and when you're not all your ducks not in line, boom. So they already got that taste in their mouth already. So I think they're already wide open. They're already ready for this moment. You know, they're just they're already built for this moment. And, you know, so four TDs from Patrick Mahomes. Didn't even really rest the ball that much. They're just more efficient, you know, this simple as that. The, the scary thing about it, guys, to be oh so honest, and I didn't even know this, but going into season when I picked them, I remember they had a solid D, and their defense has always been but just no. come just come, just come, in the right times. You know, just give Patrick Mahomes a little bit. It's like back in the day, like, just come. If you just want to give your great – you have a great quarterback, you want your defense. You don't have to be number one defense. You just want your defense to come in clutch moments, you know what I'm saying? Get that stop, get that – drive killer when you know when it's needed for your offense to be back out there the scary part they got a great defense they got a great defense so you don't even gotta do too much and you know like he just does like the thing that people sleep on patrick mahomes you always mention the crazy plays that von mentioned he does something crazy that you know always picks up that fourth down always picks up third down with his legs on the run crazy you look like he does no looks all those crazy things they do but he you know one thing that you know that always kind of like had the hiccups they always talked about and they're still winning even when he had these hiccups but like he always mentioned this like and I feel like all these other quarterbacks are trying to mimic him with the big plays and things of that nature, but they don't know. Like, you got to take the small stuff. I feel, like he, I feel like, you know, he took that – ripped that page after the book from Tom Brady. Like, probably asked, you know, you, everyone knows it, but it's easy to say, harder to do. To, you know, like all the quarterbacks mentioned, like, taking the check down, taking the easy throw. It's right there. It's easy. But I want the big one. I want the 60-yard bomber, you know what I'm saying, to make the highlight sports center. But, you know, when you can balance both of those, that's when you get dangerous, and that's when you get the defense on their heels. And they have no clue what's happened. So it sucks so from the charging uh, Chargers pointer stand of view. Like my uncle mentioned, what is the what is the problem here? I think I kind of read with Vaughn. You know, you can always blame it on coaching, I guess. I hate to blame it on coaching, but it's obviously been so relevant in the last few years, so blatant to that, you know, something you just can't really blame on Herbert. You know, it also sucks for Herbert because the guys that they if they get rid of him again, they get a whole new coach staff. I think it's his third OC or something like that. It's just like, man, what are you doing for the guy? Guy is so talented. He's being so great. He's getting tarnished now with these losses. People are starting to bring the fire to him. And, you know, why aren't you, you know, overcoming your coach? Because you got you got this person, you got that person on offense. Your defense, like Vaughn mentioned, got these star-studded names. And it's a double whammy when your coach is a defensive coach and, you know, and he's not getting it done. So, it's a tough one for them to swallow. They're two and four. It's looking tough. We already know how AFC is, so it's already looking tough as it is. We know the division is pretty much a wrap now. So you like, you know, maybe would give yourself a chance. You go, you're three and three. You beat KC. You know, you keep them. You know, you get them an extra L. You know, you're still fighting in that wild card spot. So it's gonna be tough for them to battle back in the season. One good thing is I still believe in Justin Herbert. I still think he's a great quarterback. It just sucks to see him keep losing and losing. And you gotta put you gotta put pressure on him too. It's his fault too. Obviously, he's on this team. He's taking the L's with him. So you know, 
It just seems like they just need. It sucks to say, but does it, I don't, they need a culture change. I don't know. The culture seems good, so it's like, but why isn't that translating to the field? Are they soft? Like, what are the things they feel like they need to? The small things. I feel like the small things are missing, and you know, the small things like Vaughn mentioned, kind of like, you know, he's talked about earlier, is the coaching. Use small things will make you know great team from good to great. So that's what they're missing here, clearly. So that's what the Chargers need to do. Uh, they're gonna have to do something. They gotta draft some people. Stop trying to buy guys out. Maybe if you draft, you know, that's you see the good teams. They're the good teams draft guys and you know build them within too, because you can't be paying people too. Right now they're paying a lot of people, and winning ain't happening. So, you know how that goes. But owners be owners don't like that. Straight up, owners do not like that. Some people start getting fired left and right. So let's smell some smell that around the corner. But you really, you I don't know how. Do you guys think they fire somebody mid season? Something's gonna have to change. Something's gonna have to change. We're getting Who play next these- week? Who play play next week? Because. Uh, if they go two and five, then yeah, then it's then it's looking pretty much it's a done deal. Oh, you see, look, they got they got Chicago and they got the Jets. Those should be two wins. So and then, they got, but then they got the Lions though. So, Cassie says Chiefs are for real, for real. Their defense is nice, and their offense is led by a top quarterback of all time, and a top tight end of all time, and a top coach of all time. Uncle it's Manny saying, man. looking forward that Chiefs first Eagles game on eleven twenty will be fire. And then I guess where the I guess we're gonna have to put the flame out. It's I think it's just hey, you, it's either you get out of the way or you get ran the fuck over. <laughs> Mar- Marcellus, I'm not okay. Pray for my nine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kyle is struggling against a blitzing defensive coordinator. Oh, I'm by the coach, Kyle. Come on, man. Hey, now man, it's Kyle's it's fault. Hey, it's not her fans, man. You, you now it's Kyle's fault, boy. Turn on you quick. You were they wanted you to win coach of the year, and now it's all your fault. 